previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Jesus. No one could have lived through that. Then stories of their resurrection are true. Then the setup that got Jill and Parker, it was all... <laughs> it's a trap! Yeah, I'd almost guarantee it. But Brian, we'll go after Jill and Parker. Make your way to the Mediterranean. Where? Damn it. Master took all my weapons. Can you reach HQ? No. Comms are as it seems. We'll be stuck here. Jim! Who the hell are you? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we've just entered Episode 3, Ghosts of Veltro. Well, I didn't exactly predict that, uh... Your efforts are commendable. This is one wake-up call which was long overdue. But... That's what that dude sounds like? Really? Jessica, Parker, come in. The facility has been breached. We're closing shop. Prepare to go home. Split up and get to the helipad on the roof. That's an order. I'll cover the hallway with Jessica. Cadet, make sure they reach the heliport. Parker, they've started evacuation procedures here. O'Brien? I'm the only one left, General Warden. The BSAA is pulled out. I want you to know that the FDC is making a huge mistake. for three weeks in an attempt to handle this matter. There have been rescues, there have been losses. Too many. But any further delays would simply cripple our cause. Surely you can understand that. I'm afraid I cannot. Obliterating the site by satellite is only a quick fix. We could lose crucial evidence. Use of the satellite has already been approved. We can clean up this mess. I guess you thought of everything. Even the FBC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. These unilateral solutions of yours will only create a new Veltro. Perhaps a dozen of them. Yes. There's the rub. Men like us can exist thanks to groups like that. And he'll just let all those people die. Are you finished now, Director O'Brien? Everyone, you have your orders. Move into position. Raymond, with me. Yes, sir. Raymond. His name is Raymond. How much ammo is this thing can I carry? Oodles. Um, wait. I don't actually know. There is no way for me to check my guns because uh, you can only do that at a weapons thing. I can't help but think that general guy. He uh, his voice is all wrong. He looks like he should sound more like Donald Sutherland or Ron Perlman or someone. Uh, like hell, if he if he had O'Brien's voice, that would fit better than the one he has. I'm just gonna have to hope that. They did a better job of it, of finding a, uh, match 
in the uh, Japanese version. Ah, say Libby. I'll leave it to Lansdale to take care of the higher ups. Oh, right, I'm in his organization right now, not O'Brien's. And so is she, it would seem. Not sure what's up with the uniform. She looks like either a stewardess or a female soldier from World War II. Oh shit. Oh, there's a, uh... You know what? It's a little bit unorthodox. Give me a minute. I want to, uh... Give my monitor a good wipe. I've got my window open today, and the sunlight reflecting is, uh... Kind of distracting. Nice and clear. So, let me just get the timer going again, and... Oh. I don't know if I mentioned it before, I'm pretty sure I recognize the, uh... the guys running around in the streets as being an enemy from the first Resident Evil. I don't see how I might have missed a spot. But, uh... I don't know what they're called. I just remember, you know, seeing them. I don't know if it was on the internet or something. Here they come. Open fire! I don't think yeah, these guys. Oh, right, I don't have the Genesis. Oh, shit, it really wasn't dead. Uh, So then, there's no real reason to say that, obviously, other than to hint that Veltro wasn't really responsible for this. If you really think about that, it would be like... This guy's pistol packs a punch. It would be like saying everyone will equate Al-Qaeda with terrorism. Like, in, in this situation, it's totally redundant. Nice. Standing still to look for glimmers, and there's stuff up here. The, uh, I got the cords dangled. God damn it. I, they literally hadn't said anything to me that indicated there was any question about who did it. Like, the only place I'd heard Veltro was, 
Ultra mentioned was as a terrorist group. It's like, oh, they started out as good guys, and then they mysteriously turned to evil. But that one line from Parker, that one meaningless, inexplicable line from Parker suggests to me very strongly Where the fuck am I going? There is no map. That uh oh there is a there's a mini map at least. Suggests to me somebody's lying. Fuck. I guess we were just holding them off while we uh, retreated, huh? Oh, that's not smudges on my screen, that's uh, blood from being injured. But I'm not that badly injured, so I'll just leave that. It's a good idea, I will go back here and look at this pointless now. So how are you? Sorry to drag you into this. That's fine, but you're buying me dinner next time, and I'm ordering lobster. Are they seeing each other? What the? Broke already? And that was the last one you made. How do you feel about stairs? Actually, I'm not sure how I feel about stairs. It's a map of the Terra Grigia building. Can I just point out that that's like saying that's a map of the Toronto building? You could have just said it's a map of the building and that would have made more sense. I mean, yeah, I get it, we're in Terra Grigia. That's really cool. Okay, fuck you then. Wow, we should grind this up and turn it into medicine. Yeah, let's do it. Shame they're not dropping stuff. Guys in uh, Resident Evil 4 occasionally dropped ammo. So I thought, you know, viral warfare and bioorganic weapons became public knowledge after the fall of Umbrella, but I guess it took this to do it. The FBC's charter. The Federal Bioterrorism Commission, now we know, was founded by the U.S. government to be the enforcing agency of the guidelines set forth in the National Species Protection Act. What? This document outlines the FBC's charter and the responsibilities of its members. The FBC is charged with protecting the United States and her interests from biological threats. Our organization will work with other countries and their respective wildlife protection organs. Just 
it's just to guard public health. As such, we are tasked with ensuring the biological safety of the public at large. The duties of all FBC members include the research, training, and support of the biological community, as opposed to robots. Policies will be fomented, uh, that is actually a word, on a needs-only basis, with any additional budget expenditures and extraordinary activities being approved by a plenary session of the Wildlife Protection Committee. The FBC chair is selected by the Wildlife Protection Committee. Uh, the chair's duties include com complete oversight of the FBC and coordination of all activities with responsive, with respective U.S. cabinet officials. Oh boy, this isn't exactly the most exciting one of these I've ever read. The FBC chair is the final overseer of the National Animal Protection Community. All members of the, Nas of the National Animal Protection Community are entitled to request help from the Chair, including the Secretaries of State and Defense and the Director of National Intelligence. However, the Chair has final authorities on all matters of national biological safety. The really funny thing is that doesn't still doesn't tell us very much. Up M3. I looked down to the ground and I thought there were items there, because in Resident Evil 4, items had this little cylinder of light around them. sure all this is optional. Daily Courier Article 1. London Daily Courier Tragedy in Terragrigia by Donatello Luzacci. Uh, Luzacci. A beast slouches towards Europe to be born. That beast is the Federal Bioterrorism Commission. What is unique about this beast is that the Federal Species Protection Committee that gave birth to it was no beast itself and is intended to assist the U.S. in its counter-bioterrorism efforts. Unfortunately, Europe has become the home to a tragedy that has roused the beast. The FPC has taken complete control of the biohazard outbreak in Terra Grigia, and has in effect barred the participation of other countries. Terra Grigia is an aquapolis that was developed jointly by US and European teams to do research and develop alternative energy sources. The impetus behind the city's development was twofold. The Europeans wanted to halt climate change, and the Americans hoped to develop energy sources for Africa. To that end, the city was placed strategically in the Mediterranean Sea. Terra Grigia has enjoyed cooperative administration by both sides and has been held up as a model of successful U.S.-European cooperation. The terrorist attacking Terra Grigia has put the kibosh on that. According to conditions stipulated in the treaty outlining Terra Grigia's governance, both the U.S. and Europe had equal authority during a terrorist attack. Only during the event of bioterrorism does the FBC assume a leadership role. Don't, uh, you can do it, and you know it. I popped in a lozenge because of all the reading I've been doing. Uh... The FBC was formed to the express purpose of dealing with threats posed by bioterrorism. They have a crack squad of soldiers on permanent standby, and by that measure, they have the most expansive charter of any organization in Europe. During a time of crisis, they have the blessing of the United States to take charge and control the situation. 
and that is how the FBC came to be in charge of the current chaos in Terra Grigia. FBC Commissioner Morgan Lansdale has announced that EU involvement will not be tolerated while his organization deals with the crisis. European authorities pressed Lansdale to respect their rights in this matter, and they were able to convince him to bring in Commander Clive R. O'Brien of the BSAA, a well-respected international civilian group. The problem, however, is that even though O'Brien himself is a t bioterrorism expert, he's working with virtually no support staff, which limits the scope of actions he can take. While the story and the tragedy is still unfolding, it seems the FBC is ignorant to the extent of the suffering in Derek Regia. Whether Lansdale has the ability and the intelligence to handle this attack without becoming a Yeetzean beast also remains to be seen. Man, really? Wait, I thought I was gonna have to backtrack after this because the uh, arrow is pointing to the other elevator. You know what? I have a th I have a thought. I bet if I go back over there, it's uh. Nope, this elevator doesn't work. Guess we got to take the stairs after all. And that really, really did have to cut through the room. can't even use an extra one. Oh, hey! Oh, hell. No! Oh yeah. Convenient. What? Okay. I guess I really was heading the right way. How bizarre. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Well, since I died anyway, somehow, I'll call it here. Let's just see where the uh, checkpoint is. Shit. Well, say lovey. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Resident, e Resident Evil Revelations. After I finish going back through all that shit. Later.